Hey guys, this is Austin from TurboLab, and I have a GTX 3076 upgrade that I did. Before this was a GT3071R turbo, so I grabbed the compressor housing and uh, machined it on my CNC machine to a GTX 3076. And I want to show you the comparison between the GTX 3071 versus the 3076 and why you should go with one over the other. So they both have the same 55 by 60 millimeter turbine wheel, but the difference is the compressor wheel size. So for, this one is the 3071, a GTX 3071, and this one is the 3076. The 3071 is 54 millimeter by 71 millimeter, and it's extended to 70 or 74 and then the 3076 is a 58 millimeter by 76 millimeter extended to somewhere in the uh, probably about 80 millimeter so I, I can't remember but this one also has a really big tip height this 3076 which is why it performs so well it has a 7.72 millimeter tip height of course, like I said, they both have the same turbine wheels. So the way to determine which one you want is based on what I would choose based on the size of your engine or the amount of horsepower you're trying to go for. So with the 3071, this rotating assembly is good for around 450 horsepower to 500 plus, depending on what exhaust housing you choose. Now Garrett rates this for 580 horsepower, though you could probably make close to that with the 1.06 turbine housing, but realistically most people aren't going to run that size turbine housing with the 30, GTX 3071. Uh, this 3071 is good for, in my opinion, a four-cylinder engine at most 2.2 mil. I'm 2.2 liter, probably nothing bigger than that. Realistically, I probably would put this on like a 2.0 or, or smaller engine. The 3076 is more ideal for, you could put this on the 2.0, you could probably put it on a 2.3, but if you put it on the anything bigger than like a 2.3, you really should use a 0.82 or 1.06 exhaust housing based on the size of your engine. Like if you're using this with a six cylinder, this should perform really well with a 0.82 or a 1.06 exhaust housing. And you can expect 550 horsepower plus out of this, out of this turbo. Now I wanna go ahead and compare the GT 3071 to the GTX 3071. Uh, the GT3071 is 53 millimeter by 71 millimeter, and the main difference is, of course, you got the billet wheel, and it's a lot taller, so it grabs more air, and the tip height's probably taller also. And horsepower comparison, uh, this one probably makes an extra 50 horsepower, or 25 to 50. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I know this one, they're about close because the size is, isn't really that big of a difference. This one is just one millimeter larger and then a lot taller. If you're interested in a turbo upgrade like this, you can always contact us at TurboLabAmerica at Gmail.